Welcome back to the show. Hello, Jimmy. It is always so fun to see you. So I, good to I see you. love hanging with you. Um, the series finale of Blackish uh, aired a couple of months ago. First of all, it's a couple of months ago is even crazy. Where's time going? I know. Nuts. Uh, but it was beautiful. It was great. It was everything uh, that I wanted it to be. I loved it so much. It, eight seasons. Eight seasons. 170 some odd episodes. Wow. Do crazy. you remember? Do you remember? Uh, Every single one. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> do you remember the one episode where? Yeah, no. I said. Uh, do you remember um, the audition? Is what I was gonna say. Like. Oh yes, I do. Um, it was so funny. So first of all, Kenya Barris, creator of Genius. Yes, Genius. He wrote on Girlfriends. So I knew Kenya, and he told me he wrote this part for me, and he let me read the script, and I was so excited. And I kept calling my agents. I'm like, have you gotten into anything? Like anything? <laughs> and they were like, no, nothing. And I was like, seriously though, because he wrote it for me. So like, that's weird. <laughs> But that's okay, like maybe it'll come in, it'll be fine. Yeah, it so then in. I, it came in and it was an audition. <laughs> the part that he wrote for you? Ah, uh, the audition. Okay, gotcha. So I go to the audition, um, and <laughs> this is ridiculous. That's hilarious. Um, and there's all these women there and I was tired because I had flown in and I fell asleep on the floor and then I go in for the audition and there's Anthony and like it's in a little theater and there's Kenya and all of them are in there, everybody. Yeah. We do the audition, it was great. It was Valentine's Day. Anthony was giving out roses like it was the, what's that show called? The Bachelor. bachelor. <laughs> like it was The Bachelor. <laughs> Which I yeah. thought was kind He's of a charming. Cool, but... He's a charming dude, yeah! Anyway, um, audition was great. And then when we finished the audition, he leaned out the door and he said to all the girls, go home, we found her. No, he did not. He did. He did not. But still I didn't know. Is that right? Well, because. So I don't always trust it because early on in my career, you know, they do the breakdowns and when you're an actor that doesn't have an agent, you follow the breakdowns and oh, you yeah. go and you, whatever. Okay. So there was an audition that said a Tracy Ellis Ross type, but they wouldn't see me. You're like, I'm, I am Tracy Ellis Ross. <laughs> they were Ross. like, no, 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 we're looking for a type. A Tracy Ellis Ross type. Type, we don't want the real thing. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? That's right. Isn't that interesting? That's right. But you know, now it's saying, I'm on Jimmy Fallon, you know? Yeah, that's exactly right. Come on. I mean, you've been, the show has received, uh, I want to say, like almost 30 Emmy nominations. You've been nominated five times. I've, I've been nominated five times, yes. You are phenomenal in this. Thank you. Uh, it, you know, I just saw you present on, on the uh, Oscars by the Academy Awards. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. That was quite a night. How, do you like being a nominee or do you like being a, a performer on, on the Oscars? Oh, out? I always like being a nominee. But I love going to award shows mostly because I love getting dressed up. Yeah. I mean. You get dressed up and, do, and you, you, you get to go to these amazing parties. You get to go to these amazing parties. Usually you know people because now when you're in the, if you've gotten to a point of being nominated, you see your friends, it's like really fun to do that. But also. You get to see very exciting people. <laughs> like very exciting who, who people. Who do you freak I out? saw Brad Pitt once. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're Brad talking. Pitt. Pitt. Okay, oh, yeah. I saw Brad Pitt. I don't think Brad Pitt saw me, but I saw Brad Pitt. <laughs> Wait, so you saw Brad Pitt? I looked right into his eyes, Jimmy, and I was like, huh? It was like it was like when you know like if you see a bear you don't want to make eye contact. Yeah. I was like, <sighs> nothing happened. Then he walked away. You felt all the you felt I all felt the feels. I felt all the feelings. Same thing happened. Keanu Reeves. Oh my God! Come on. I mean, oh, I'm 49. Everyone. People just heard that story Listen, and they had the feeling. I, People... I'm 49. I grew up on the Keanu. I mean, get out of here. You know what I mean? Get Keanu it. Reeves like stop hey, get it. Out of here. Get it with the Keanu, Just get out of it. Okay, I Brad Pitt, Keanu Reeves, this is not the type of guy that I usually date, but whatever, you know what I mean? This is very exciting, movie stars. Where did you see the Keanu Reeves? On a very small elevator, Jimmy. Oh my God, I got on on uh, the fourth floor. I think he got on on three. We were only going to one. Yeah. <laughs> it's still... But when he got on, I was like, oh my God. So like, I held my breath and I was ready because I was like, oh God, here comes the marriage proposal. <laughs> he met? Yeah, it's a meet Here, cute. He ran into you, a meet cute, and on the elevator, and he just gets on one I knee. I was ready. Let's Do you go. know what I mean? Yeah. So I like, how my breath? And then I was like, oh no, no, I should introduce myself. But then the elevator door opened, <laughs> and he walked. And he left. Off, and that was it. Yeah. And then, yeah, that was it. So. Uh, but but Brad, were you more composed with Brad Pitt? No, no, no. I, composure is not a word that's used to describe me, Jimmy. No. That's not. Uh, that's not the thing but for you, me. But you you actually brought us a video. Well, when I got back hours later, uh, the energy was still pour coursing through my Just veins. so you can see how much energy comes out of the great Tracy Ellis Ross. Take Let's a look see. after seeing Brad Pitt. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>
I love that. And by the way, I feel like I, I turned into my mom in mahogany. In the <laughs> I was like spinning around like life had begun. That's so fun. <laughs> you, you made, like you said, over 170 episodes oh of Blackish. Mm. Uh, this past season, you co wrote uh, an episode that had Michelle Obama. I co wrote the episode about perimenopause, and then the first episode of the season, oh, was Michelle. Michelle Obama came. I mean, just. Do you I know? Mean... It's like. But uh, that one about. Uh, what what do you want to talk about? Let's. T it's maybe we talk about Michelle well, Obama. Well, I mean, I, I don't mind talking about menopause either. Pa but... Well, Perry, Perry, menopause, don't rush me. <laughs> <laughs> but here's why I like the show. Here's why I like Blackish because you could be funny, but also talk about serious issues. Yeah. And yeah. you got that across, and that, you got to be proud of that. That's... Yeah, I, I, I leave with so much joy and pride. The subject matter that we touched on, the way we, you know, gave America a black family as an American family, and yeah, there were so many things. Um, really uh, explored as a woman, so many different spaces and places, and, and anchored in the show was this couple that loved each other, which I really loved. We loved and liked each other, so it wasn't based on that traditional rolling your eyes at your partner Yeah, um, that I loved, yeah. Congrats so. on the fantastic eight seasons, buddy, uh, and thank you for coming on our show. You're so good. I really, I really thought Brad was gonna show up. No. No Brad. No Brad, no Brad Pitt. You didn't need Brad Pitt, you didn't need Brad Pitt, but I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Tracy Ellis Ross in the final season of Blackish. Take a look at this. I think we should sell this house and move to a black neighborhood. Really? Really. Can you imagine if Devante got to grow up around successful black men and women that were not in his family? We've done Sherman Oaks. <laughs> like, we did it, and it was good, it was great. I just think it's time for us to do something new. Let's do it. You have always had my back. Always. Mama was wrong. Oh. <laughs> what? After 20 years, you finally figure out what to say to turn me on, baby. Oh, oh, say it again. Oh, mama was wrong. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's exactly right. Tracy Ellis Ross, everybody! All seasons of Blackish are available to stream on Hulu. More Tonight Show after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.